Hey, some things are easier to explain face to face than in an email and um, since we couldn't meet face to face this late in the week I thought this would be the next best thing. So I'd like to explain a project that I have in mind that would involve both elementary schools as an entire school. Um, I've already done this project with my classroom and I'd like to expand this to an entire school kind of thing. So using lulu.com, uh, I've published books like the one you see here in the past using student writing that they already had to do. Nothing above and beyond what, what was already being worked on in the class. So this book includes narrative writing that the kids have done, uh, argumentative writing, and informational writing that they've done. What I'm thinking we could do is take the writing that the students are already doing in their classroom and publish uh, full school books that compile grades K through 6 writing into one book. There would be a section for narrative writing, a section for argumentative writing, and a section for informational writing. These books could, or these writings could be compiled into either A, a shared Google Doc, or they could come and be filtered through me and then I'll place them into the shared Google Doc to try to manage all the kind of chaos that could happen with everybody copy pasting their own writing into this shared Google Doc. Once the writing is compiled between I'm thinking the months of starting in November and maybe stretch it to the end of March or possibly into the first one or two weeks of April. So quite a span of time for teachers to get this writing collected, do the writing with their students like they normally would, and it kind of takes us up to say PSSA season just about and then we'll, we'll make a cut there gather that writing in, I'll put it in, into a shared document that can then be posted to lulu.com where we can create um, a book, a print book, that can range anywhere from the standard paperback the whole way to these really awesome professional uh, hardcovers. I've al always used the standard paperback and I think the the books turn out really nice. I've never had any that came where the binding um, fell apart or anything. And they're, they're pretty cheap. Anywhere from three to six dollars uh, after shipping is what I've spent in the past. Once we purchase the books, we would then take these books and sell them um, to community members, parents, um, relatives, whoever wants to purchase them, and take those profits and all the money that we have and donate it to a charity. So the kids see that, hey, I'm doing this writing for a purpose, uh, be that they know that their writing does have some effect on somebody else, and last but not least, just to let them do something nice for somebody else instead of always doing something just just for us. So it gives the writing a real purpose. And then once we've donated this money to say something like the factory maybe or um, the Ebb Foundation or any number of charities that we can kind of come up with together, um, we'll together maybe at a school assembly that's already planned, just go ahead and donate the money together. I think it would be a really cool school-wide initiative, uh, kind of be a really positive thing for the kids to tie to their, to their writing and a good way to make their writing really authentic. Let me know what you think about the project. It's not set in stone, but it's an idea that I had um, and have done with my kids. We've already raised $400 for the ASPCA last year. And the previous year, we raised $600 for Haiti relief. Um, so it's been a success so far. I'd just like to kind of expand it out to the entire school now that I get to see all the kids. So let me know what you think. Happy Friday.